Let's now talk about rollback. Now, if you remember from the last video, we spoke about the differences between active configuration and candidate configuration. We also discussed that the configuration that is currently loaded on the device is the active config. When you actually hit edit or configure, the device actually creates a copy of your active configuration, which is now known as the candidate configuration. You're actually making changes on the candidate config and not on the active config. When you commit your changes, the candidate configuration now gets saved as the current active configuration. The reason I'm talking about this is because we have a concept called as rollback in Junos. The current active configuration, the configuration that is currently running on the device, is saved as rollback zero. Rollback zero is a configuration file that contains your current active configuration. So let's go back to the device for a second. We spoke about the show compare command. Let me quickly make some changes. Set system, name server. I'm going to revert back to 4.2.2.2. And I'm going to do show compare. And it shows me that these changes are going to be made. Now remember, when you do show compare, you're actually comparing the currently modified configuration, which is also known as the candidate configuration, with the active configuration, which is the currently running configuration. But we just discussed that the active configuration is also known as rollback zero. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm doing show compare rollback zero. And I'm going to get the same output. You see the same output is here and here. That's because your active configuration is stored as rollback zero. So when you have a blank device, let's say we've just purchased a new device, it has no config as such. When I make my first configuration change and I commit it, that gets stored as rollback zero. Now let's say I make some more changes and when I hit commit, that one gets saved as rollback zero. And rollback zero, which was the previous one, now gets saved as rollback one. If I make some more changes and hit commit, Rollback 1 now becomes rollback 2. Rollback 0 now becomes rollback 1. And the changes that I've made, that configuration now becomes rollback 0. The total number of rollback configurations that you can save is 50. That's the max. And it is numbered starting from 0. So you go from 0 to 49. That's the max that you can save on your device. You can obviously lower this number if you'd like. So remember, when you do show compare, you're actually comparing to rollback zero, which is also your active config. Now you can also compare with some other rollback files. You can do show compare rollback one maybe, and it's gonna show you the changes with respect to rollback one. You can try rollback two. You can see here, there are some more changes when I compare my current modified config with rollback two. If you want to take a look at all the rollback files that are stored on your device, you can say rollback and hit a question mark and it will show you all the rollbacks that have been saved so far and it will show you when the rollback was actually saved. The rollback command is especially useful when you want to discard your changes. So I'm going to do show compare one more time. And as you can see, these are the changes that will be committed when I hit the commit command. But let's say I changed my mind and I do not want to commit these changes anymore. What I can do is I can revert to the current active config by hitting rollback zero. Because rollback zero is the same as active configuration. So I'll say rollback zero, hit enter, and it says load complete. And I have to follow it up with a commit command. So always remember, when you do rollback, you have to follow it up with a commit command. Like we just discussed, the maximum number of rollback files that you can save is 50. If you wanted to change this number, you can say set system rollback. Oh no, set system max configuration hyphen rollback and hit a question mark. The max that you can say is 49. That means 0 to 49, a total of 50 rollback files. But you can lower this down to any value that's less than 49. So let's say if I wanted to have only 10 rollback files on my device, I would say rollback 9. That means 0 to 9, a total of 10 different rollback files. And I have to go ahead and issue the commit command 
to finalize my changes.